Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL M1 which has to do with mid-segments of triangles. So uh, a mid-segment of a triangle is just a kind of a line segment like this that is placed halfway between the tip of the triangle and your base of the triangle. So it's exactly halfway. You can see that with our tick marks right here. Uh, remember the tick marks that correlate with one another. So two and two means that these uh, two uh, sides or distances right here are the same. Single tick marks right here again indicate the same length. They are congruent, they are equal. Um, and so this is a mid-segment. It goes halfway between this entire side and then halfway between this entire side, which is how it splits these two into equal halves. Okay, now the only thing you really need to know aside from that is this mid-segment, the length of this mid-segment, is exactly half the length of our base here. So uh, this problem is saying that VW, so the base, is 74. And what is SU? What's our mid-segment? Well, I said this is only half of our base. So if our base is 74, half of 74 is going to be 37. So it's just 37 units long. There we go. Okay, if RT is 23, which is our mid-segment, if our mid-segment mid is 23, what is QU? Well, this is 23, so this means it's 46. Okay, RT is 45, what is QU? So our mid-segment is 45, double that is 90. Okay, so you get the idea. The mid-segment is just half of our base right here. So I'm going to skip a few. Okay, so when you get higher, it's the same exact kind of problems, except they give you variables instead of numbers, so you just have to solve for them. So let me do this one for you real quick. Okay, so it's saying VW, so VW is P, and XZ is P minus 48. So what is the value of P? Okay, well, half of P is equal to the mid-segment, uh, right? So half of P, so P over 2, half of P is equal to the mid-segment, which is P minus 48. So from here, we'll just do some, uh, some algebra, and we'll get the numbers by itself. So we'll uh, multiply both sides by 2 to get that first P by itself. So the twos cancel out, we're left with P equals two times P is two P and two times negative 48 is gonna be minus 96, okay? Uh, and then you can do kind of what you want here. I'll subtract the P from both sides and that leaves us with zero equals P minus 96. We can then add 96 to both sides. Okay, so we're left with 96 equals P. And there we have it. Okay, so we'll go back to the IXL. We'll do 96. There you go. So the key is setting up that initial equation here. Remember, uh, the base is half, uh, or half the base is going to be equal to the mid-segment. So think of it in terms of that. So if you just do your base over 2 and set it equal to the mid-segment, you're going to be set. Okay, same problem here, I'll skip it. Same thing, same thing. So at this rate, I'm gonna go all the way to 92 because I'm pretty sure they're all just the same at this point. Yes, so I'm going to grab this one and we will do this one. Okay. So it says UY, so our base is Z minus 12, and VX, our mid-segment, is Z minus 47, and what is our UY right here? So this is the same problem as last time, except after we find our Z, we plug it back in uh, to our UY, and then that's gonna be our answer. So just keep that in mind. Um, understand what they're asking you. Don't just plug in whatever we get a Z at the end because you'll be disappointed when it tells you you got it incorrect. Okay, so like I said last time, um, half of our base is gonna equal 
the mid-segment. So we'll take half our base, which is z minus 12, and then half of that is over 2. Okay, we're going to set that equal to our mid-segment, which is z minus 47. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. We'll multiply both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Cancel out. So we are left with z minus 12 equals 2z. Now add the little lines there to indicate those are z's. Minus uh, 47 times 2 is 94. All right. Uh, I'm going to subtract this z over here from this z over here. So we are left with negative 12 equals 2z minus z, which is z minus 94. And then I will add 94 to both sides. Uh, negative 12 plus 40 or 94 or just 94 minus 12 is going to be 82 which equals Z okay so that's Z and remember they're not asking for Z they're asking for UY so they're asking for our base okay well but we have Z so now we can just plug in uh, 82 for Z so it's going to be 82 minus 12 which is going to equal 70 so the length of our base is going to be 70 and if you cared, you could plug in 82 to the Z for the mid-segment and figure out it's going to be 35, which is exactly half. So that works. So go over here. We'll type in 70. And there we go. Okay. That's where I'm going to stop the video. Stay safe, study hard, and see you for the next IXL tutorial. Goodbye.